were able to return to mass at St. Peter's Cathedral early this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead has more in Scranton. Anya. Chris, parishioners spent 10 weeks away from the cathedral due to COVID-19. They had their first in-person mass at 6.30 this morning. We found many eager to get back inside. We've been coming to mass here every day since 1957. Morning. Catholics believe St. Peter is the keeper of the keys to the kingdom. Here at St. Peter's Cathedral, the doors have been locked to the public, looking to attend mass for 10 weeks due to the pandemic. Wednesday morning, the doors were unlocked. And we are so excited to welcome everyone home to their cathedral. The weeks away gave the diocese plenty of time to deep clean and sanitize the cathedral. It looks different inside with sanitizing stations, pews marked off, and social distancing markers. In terms of face masks, requiring face masks, ensuring six foot social distancing within our churches. But you know, there's always that inherent risk. Gratitude to Almighty God for the ability to celebrate and receive the Holy Eucharist. Parishioners we spoke with understand the need for the change. They're just thankful to be back and able to worship again. We have to do what we have to do to stay safe. <clears throat> you can't change that. The bishop is still stressing that those at higher risk continue to watch the live stream mass from home. Be with your people who cry to you. If they're in a vulnerable population, whether through a health condition or through age, that they should still really stop and think about if it's safe for them personally to come back to mass. The coronavirus hasn't gone away. Now, Chris, the next Mass is at 1210 this afternoon in just about an hour. Now, the diocese also stresses that Sunday Mass is still not an obligation at this time. Live in Scranton, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. Anya, thank you. Now let's get a check of your first 